So here we have the Ford Galaxy Automatic on a 20 plate. I'm going to start off by showing you around the outside of the car and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside. But from the outside, you can see it's a five door car with alloy wheels and tinted windows. Let's start off inside the boot and then work our way around the rest of it from there. So as we approach the back of the car, you can see we have reversing sensors. Currently, all seven seats are in place. It's very easy to fold the seats down. It's all done via these buttons. So the two rear seats here can fold down like that. And that's how much space you have as a five seater. But if you wish to fold this middle row of seats down, you can also do that. And that is how much space you can have overall, should you need it. Okay, so we're just gonna work our way back around to the front of the car and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside. But now that we've done a full circle of it, you can see it's in excellent condition the whole way around. Just briefly before we climb in, I think it's what we're seeing the interior from this exterior point of view. There's plenty to run through the dashboard, so let's hop in and we'll do that right now. Okay, now that we're inside the car, we're going to start with the dials. On the left-hand side, we have the rev counter, and on the right-hand side, the speedometer and fuel gauge. In the middle, you can see a digital readout for the speedometer. Uh, that information can be changed using buttons on the steering wheel, so you can, if you wish to, have your entertainment menu there, navigation, your phone menu, or the speedometer, which we had. Uh, over on the left, you can see there's a trip computer. Again, you can change that information for any piece of information that you would rather have there. And the buttons to do that, are both here and here, depending on which thing you're changing up there. Uh, also, uh, below the left-hand side controls here, we have cruise control and speed limiter. And over on the right-hand side, we have stereo and phone controls. The phone controls can only be used after such time as you paired the phone up. And that is done over on the touchscreen in the center just here. Uh, if you go back to the main menu and hit add phone. Search for your vehicle on your device and select it once it is found. And then just follow those instructions from there. You can see this car's got satellite navigation. There's a full video that shows how that works on our website and also on our YouTube channel. And then when it comes to music, we can listen to our music via AM, FM, and DAB radio, uh, the CD player, Bluetooth audio, and two separate USB inputs, which will appear up on here if you plug devices into either or both of those. Working our way down, we have the CD player and main volume for the stereo. We then have dual zone climate control, so you can adjust the passenger and driver temperatures all adjustments show here so driver passenger and the fan speed adjustment as well when you're happy with those settings this button turns the air conditioning on and off it's on when that light shows so off or back on again or hit auto if you hit auto the car will take control of the fan speed to maintain the temperatures you've asked for to override that just readjust the fans to whatever level you would like them to be on we have a heated rear screen and a proper heated front screen as well this storage or cubby hole section will open up to reveal a 12 volt charging socket and the two USB inputs that I mentioned a moment ago, as well as some storage there, which goes a long way in, as you can see. We then have the gear lever or dial for the fully automatic gearbox. We've got park, reverse, neutral, drive, and then sport mode in the middle just there. We have an electronic handbrake. We can turn the parking sensors on and off, and that button turns the stop and start off. This car is designed to cut out when it's stationary in traffic to save you fuel. That system is now turned off. All that leads me to say is thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you'd like to come and see the car in person and have a test drive, please feel free to call any of our MJA sites. We'd love to hear from you soon.